Hi everyone, this is Angel with Tech Tutelage, and in today's video I will show you how to set up your own always free VPN service on Ubuntu server. I will be doing it on always free Ubuntu instance on Oracle Cloud, but this instruction should work on any Ubuntu server with access to the internet. In today's video, I will use open source collection of Ansible scripts created by Trail of Bits called Algo VPN. Algo makes the setup of WireGuard and IPsec VPN quick and easy. To follow along, you will need access to Ubuntu server. If you don't have one, please check out my video on how to get free Ubuntu server on Oracle Cloud by clicking on the information card in the upper right corner. To begin, you're going to want to go ahead and SSH into your Ubuntu server. Um, so I'm going to go to my Oracle console and I'm going to grab my public IP. Then I'm going to go to my downloads directory because that's where I have my keys. And I'm going to connect to the server via SSH. Once you're connected to the server, you're going to want to go ahead and switch to your root user. And once you've switched to root, you're going to want to go ahead and update your repositories. Once your repositories are updated, you're going to go ahead and switch your directory to opt. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and download Algo from Trail of Bits GitHub repository. And once you have it downloaded, you want to go ahead and install Python 3 virtual environment package on your system. Once you have the package installed, you want to go CD into the Algos directory. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and set up Python virtual environment. Once you have your virtual environment set up, you want to go ahead and run the following command to activate the virtual environment. And don't worry about these commands, I will post them all in the description under the video. So you can just go ahead, copy and paste uh, when you're following along. After you have your virtual environment activated, you're going to want to go ahead and install a couple more dependencies. Once you have all the dependencies installed, you would want to go ahead and open a file called config.cfg. In this file, you will give some instructions uh, for the algo deployment. So the first thing you want to do here is pick users that you want to set up VPN for. And in my case, I'm only going to leave one user and I will call it Angel. For the rest of the settings, you can just leave it to the defaults unless you have any other preferences. There is only one thing that I really want to change here. This here where it says unattended reboot, I'm going to change that to true. And what that will do is it will automatically reboot your server at the set time uh, when Algo gets um, security updates. Set that to true. Once you have all that saved, I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen. And the next thing you can do is you can go ahead and run the installation. Here we want to choose number 12, install to existing Ubuntu server. And as you can see, they have supported cloud providers. So if you're running on one of those providers, you can select that number. But in my case, I'm an Oracle cloud, so I'm just going to use this number 12. Here I'm going to answer no, but if you want to automatically connect to VPN when you're on your cellular network on your phone, you can say yes. And again, if you switch to unknown Wi-Fi, if you want automatically to switch to VPN and um, activate your VPN, you can say yes, but I'm going to say no. On this question, you're going to want to say yes if you're going to be adding new users. So I'm going to say yes. For the DNS blocking, it's again your choice. In my case, I'll say yes. And for SSH tunneling, again, personal choice. I won't be doing SSH tunneling, so I'm going to say no. They give you a little warning here. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed with enter. And since we're installing this locally on the server that we are SSH'd into, I'm going to type localhost. And for the IP, I'm going to go to my console and grab my public IP. And if you're doing this on your own server and your house, you're going to want to get your public IP for your home network. All right, once the installation is completed, you're going to see this screen. An important thing here is you're going to want to go ahead and save these two passwords. Uh, one of them will be for your SSH and the other one will be for your uh, certificate authority key. 
especially this one is very important if you're going to be adding new users because you will need to enter it when you're creating a new user so what i usually do is just go ahead and copy these two lines and i just kind of put them in a file somewhere in a safe place once you have this password saved you can go ahead and restart your server once the server is restarted you can go ahead and log in again and again switch to root and once you switch to root you can go ahead and go to your algo directory go ahead and list it and in here all of our configurations will be placed in a directory called configs so i'm going to go ahead into that configs directory and in here there will be a directory with your public ip i'm going to go in there and here we have uh, two directories one is for the ipsec configuration one is for the wireguard what we're going to do today is we're going to connect to the vpn your wireguard so i'm going to go into the wireguard directory and I'm going to list it. And here you're going to see two files. And this is your uh, configurations that you will use to connect to the VPN. So one of them is a config file that you can just pass to your WireGuard application. And it will automatically set up all the configuration for you. And the other one is a PNG image with a QR code that you can just scan with your mobile device. And your mobile device will automatically connect to the VPN. So one thing you want to do here is, and what I'm going to do is in order for me to get these files, I'm going to have to change the ownership to them since they're up on my server. And uh, by default, Oracle Cloud does not allow root user to get to, to the server. So I'm going to be connecting with my Ubuntu user. So I'm going to make these files owned by Ubuntu temporary. So I'm going to do chone. And if you list, you'll see that now these two files are owned by Ubuntu. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open my SFTP client. So in my case, I'm using Cyberduck, but you can do that with FileZilla, or if you're on the Windows, you can do that with uh, WinSCP. So I'm going to start a new connection, and that will be an SFTP connection. And here I'm going to give it my server IP address. Again, make sure you get the public IP, not the private the paste the IP in here. And this will differ a little bit depending on which tool you're using. Again, I'm using Cyberduck. For user, you're gonna select to Ubuntu. And down here, you're gonna give it path to your key. So my key is in downloads and it's gonna be this private key here. So you will use the keys that you created when you built your server. You go ahead and connect. And once I've connected, I'm going to navigate again to opt, algo, configs, EIP, wireguard, and here are the two files that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and just download them to my desktop. All right, now that I have the files on my desktop, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead. And um, if you don't have it already, you're going to have to go and download it from uh, the Apple Store, but you're going to want to get an application called WireGuard. This is the application that we will use to connect to our VPN. So go ahead, download this from the internet. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And once you have the application open, you can go ahead and click down here on the plus sign. And you can say import tunnel from a file. And we're going to select the configuration file that we just downloaded. And then hit an import. Here you're going to say allow and that will import the tunnel. And so you're ready to connect your server, but there's actually one more thing that we need to do. We need to open some ports on our firewall on Oracle Cloud. And if you're in your home network, you're gonna probably have to do that on your router. You're gonna have to open some ports to the internet. So if you are using Oracle Cloud like me, you're gonna to wanna to go to Virtual Cloud Networks. And then here, you're gonna select your Virtual Cloud Network and go down here on the left where it says Security Lists and go ahead and open the security list. And we're gonna add a few rules here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add ingress rules. To see the ports that you need to open, you can go back to your server and we're gonna need an application called netstat, which comes with the net tools package. So we're gonna say apt install net tools. And once you have the net tools installed, you're gonna to wanna to run netstat nlu and that will show all the UDP ports that your server is listening on. And so the one that we're going to want to open on a firewall are port 500, 51820, and 4500. So I'm going to start with 51820. 
So we're going to go back here and we're going to say open port 51820 and listen on all IPs. So 0 .0 .0 .0, so that will allow anyone that's coming from the internet to connect on that port. And here you can just give a description. That will be the WireGuard port. And then I'm going to add one more rule. Again, it's going to be 0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. And that'll be 500. That is for IPsec. You don't have to give descriptions. It's just nice to have it there so you know what you did. And then we're going to add one more 0 .0 slash 0. And that will be 4,500. And that is also for IPsec. All right. And now once we have these rules added, we can go ahead and try to connect to our VPN server. Now that we're connected to our server, we're going to go ahead here, open our browser, and we can search for what's my IP. And that's not working. So let's see, what did we do wrong? I'm going to go back and check on my security list. Oh, I don't have internet connection because it's not working. So we're going to have to turn it off. Go back here and open my security list again. I think I know what I did wrong. Yes. So if you remember, I'm going to go back here. Um, if you remember, we were looking for all the traffic that's on UDP. So the ports that we open here, they are UDP ports. And when I set up the security rules here, I set them up as a TCP ports. And that's why it's not working. So what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and edit and change this to UDP. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. All right, once we have them changed to UDP, now I'm going to go ahead and try to connect again. And now it's working. You can see that we are receiving and sending data, but let's go and give it a try. So here I'm going to say, what's my IP? And as you can see, it reports 150, 136, 48, 58. And if you go back to your um, Oracle Cloud dashboard here and you look for your instances, and you can see that it is reporting the IP address of our instance. So 150.136.48.58. So even though I'm on my home computer from my home network, for everybody on the internet, it shows that I'm coming from this IP, which is Oracle Cloud IP. So the next thing here I want to show you is if you go ahead and on your desktop and check out this PNG file. So this would be a QR code. And again, on your phone, you can go ahead and download this WireGuard application. If you're using Apple from the Apple Store, if you're on Android, you can do it from the Google Store. Download this app. And all you have to do is with the app, scan this QR code, and that will automatically set up the VPN on your mobile device. And then the next thing I want to show you is how to add additional user um, in case you want to ever add a new user. So what you're going to want to do is go back to your algo installation directory. And here we're going to nano into that config file. And what you're going to have to do is just go down here and list another user. So I'll call it new user. And just make sure you read the instructions here because there's some restrictions of what the user's name can and cannot be. So in my case, I'm just going to call the user new user. And then I'm going to go ahead and exit and make sure to save the file. And then once you uh, have saved the file, you what you want to do is and always make sure that when you do that, you're in the algo directory, but you're going to have to go ahead and activate your uh, Python virtual environment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once you have your virtual environment activated, you can run the following command and that will update your um, users. So here we're going to select number one since we are updating local host. And here where it asks you to enter the password for the private CA, this is the password that uh, we got during the installation that earlier I told you to make sure to save that password someplace safe. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that password and then I'm going to paste it down here. And then once uh, the update is done, you can go ahead to your configs directory and again your IP. And in here, you're going to go to WireGuard. And if you list it now, you're going to have two users. 
So one is my original user angel, but now I have this new user configuration here. So what you can do is take these two files, download them to your machine and send them to your new user and they, they can configure their computer or they can configure their phone or uh, tablet to connect and use your VPN server. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe for my channel. Thank you for watching.